गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स पेपर नंबर 640, 655. इन दिस पेपर नंबर 655. नौ क्वेश्चन नंबर 66 टू 70. नौ क्वेश्चन नंबर 66 टू 71. व्हाट इज इन्फॉर्मेशन हियर सेवन पीपल एंड हु आर दोज सेवन पीपल जे के एल एम एन ओ नो देर आर सेवन पीपल टूगेदर जे के एल एम एन ओ एंड पी हैव ए सर्जरी बट नॉट ने इन द सेम ऑर्डर ऑन सेवन डिफरेंट मंथ्स इज इन इट सेवन डिफरेंट मंथ्स ऑफ द सेम इयर जैन फेब मार्च जून आगस्ट सेप्टेम्बर एंड अक्टोबर एंड ईच वन ऑफ दम ऑल्सो लाइक्स ए डिफरेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट नेमली पियानो गिटार वायलिन एंड सो ऑन अप टू सेवन and seven different persons seven different months seven different instruments were given isn't it now whenever these months were given first we need to write down all the months in an ascending order isn't it then after writing down all the months in an ascending order then we need to identify how many how many days are there in each of these months because most of the information will be related to the number of days in that particular month and tell me what are the months given here jan Jan is one. Next one, Feb. Jan, Feb, March. Next one, June, August. June, August, September, and October. And in total, how many months? Seven months. Now, in these seven months, there are seven different persons, and surgeries were planned in seven different months, isn't it? Then each one of them also likes a different instrument as well. Then coming to this one, condition number one: the one who likes trumpet has a surgery on one of the months after August. After August means tell me how many months do we have? Two, isn't it? As there are two in this one, hence S can be trumpet or O can be trumpet. And so how many possibilities do we have? Two possibilities. The one who likes trumpet has a surgery, has a surgery on one of the months after August. Hence, there are two different possibilities in this one. Now, this is the first case, and this is the second case. Then, only three people have a surgery between the one who likes a trumpet and the one who likes violin. Now, between trumpet and violin, tell me how many persons are there? There are exactly three persons. Three persons between trumpet and violin. Now, in this case, one, two, three, and the one who likes violin must be here. And in the next case, one, two, three, and the one who likes violin must be here. Isn't it? Hence, there are two different cases in this one as well. And only one person has a surgery between the one who likes violin and J. Between violin and J, there must be exactly one person. Hence, in the first case, J must be at this place. Are you following this one or not? And in the second case, we have two possibilities: whether J can be in the month of Jan or in the month of August. And again, J has a surgery after the one who likes violin. After the one who likes violin means J cannot be in the month of Jan, hence J must be in the month of August. Hence J is in the month of August. Hence next one, K has a surgery on one of the months after J. Now K has a surgery on one of the months after J. Now K is after J. The word immediate is not given. As the word immediate is not given, and the, this K can be on any one of these three months in August, September, or October in first case. And in the second case, this K can be either in the month of September or October. Then K has a surgery in a month which has less than 31 days. Now this K has a surgery which is less than 31 days. Now in the first case, August, September, and October less than 30 days is what? Less than 31 days only in the month of September. Hence K must be here, isn't it? And in the second case also K must be here. Hence, in both the cases, K must be in the month of September only. Done with this. And the one who likes guitar has a surgery on one of the months before the one who likes violin. Guitar is before the one who likes violin. Hence, in the first case, the one who likes guitar must be in the month of Jan. And in the second case, guitar can be either in the month of Jan or in the month of Feb. There are two possibilities in the second case. Then, coming to this one. And the one who likes guitar does not have a surgery in the month which has least number of days. That means this guitar cannot be in the month of Feb, isn't it? Hence, guitar must be in the month of January. 
Hence, in both the cases, the one who likes guitar is in the month of January. And next one, least number of days. Only one person has a surgery between the one who likes a guitar and L. Between guitar and L, there must be exactly one person. Hence, in the first case, L must be in the month of March. And so is the case with the second case as well. Now, in the second case also, L must be in the month of March. Done with this? Now, in both the cases, L must be in the month of March only. Then next one. N has a surgery immediately before the one who likes a piano. Now, N is immediately before the one who likes a piano. N before the one who likes a piano. And the one who likes piano has a surgery in a month which has 31 days. Now, N is immediately before the one who likes piano can be written like this, piano and N. Now, immediately before is given, hence these two must be together. Now, tell me whether piano can be in the month of October. No, if piano is in the month of October, N must be in the month of September, which is not possible. Then tell me whether piano can be in the month of August or not. If piano is in the month of August, N must be in the month of June, which is not possible because J is already there. Isn't it? And next one, here piano cannot be here. Piano cannot be J because N cannot be before this J. Hence, piano cannot be here, cannot be here, cannot be here, and cannot be here. And it cannot be in these two places as well because in these two places, guitar and violin were already there. Now we are left with what? Now we are left with this piano must be in the month of March. If piano is in the month of March, N must be at this place. N is immediately before. Hence, in the first case, we could able to fix these two persons as well. The one who likes piano and N. Then coming to the second case, now piano cannot be at this place because trumpet is already there. Piano cannot be here. If piano is here, then N must be in the month of August, which is not possible. Then what are the other possibilities here? Then can piano be at this place? If piano is in the month of August, piano can be in the month of August because piano is must we have 31 days. Hence, piano can be in the month of August. If piano is here, then N must be at this place. Then piano cannot be in the month of June and piano cannot be in the month of Feb. Hence, in the second case also, we have only one possibility. And piano must be in the month of August. Then, only one person has a surgery between O and the one who likes flute. Between O and the one who likes flute, there must be exactly one person. O and the one who likes flute. Now, if O is in the month of October, flute will be in the month of August. Or if O is in the month of August and no, sir, August and October in any order. One person has a surgery between O and the one who likes flute. And if O is in the month of August and flute will be in the month of October. Isn't it? Hence, there are two different cases in this one. Then, O has a surgery. O has a surgery before the one who likes flute. Now, O has a surgery before the one who likes flute. Then, what is the only possibility we have? O must be at this place. Because if O is here, between O and the one who likes flute, there must be exactly one person. And in the second case, O and the one who likes flute. O cannot be, O cannot be in the month of October. Isn't it? Next one, O cannot be here, and O cannot be here, and O can be in the month of Jan or Feb. And out of which, if you take Jan here, isn't it? O in the month of Jan is not possible. Why? Because O and flute must be in the alternate places, not possible. Hence, O must be in the month of Feb. If O is in the month of Feb, then flute must be in the month of June. Flute is in the month of June. Then, O has a surgery before the one who likes flute, and O has a surgery before the one who likes flute. That case is also valid. And next one, M likes neither guitar nor trumpet. M cannot be guitar, cannot be trumpet. Hence, what is the position of this M? M cannot be in the month of guitar. As M cannot be here, hence what is the only possibility left over here? M must be in the month of October. If M is here, then who is the person left over here? P is the person left over. Isn't it? And M neither in the likes neither guitar nor trumpet. Now in the second case, now tell me where is this M? M must be either in the month of Jan or in the month of October. But yes, M cannot be in the month of Jan because the person who and in the month of Jan, now the person guitar is here, which is not possible. And in the next case also, this October, now this cannot be at this place. Hence, there is no possibility left to this M 
and the second case is completely ruled out. Now we are left with only one case. And finally, only two people have a surgery between M and the one who likes cello. M is in the month of October, two people in between these two. Hence, cello must be in the month of June. And if cello is in the month of June, then what else is left over here? And drums is left over. Hence, the one who likes drums will have a surgery in the month of August. Clear now? Now this is what the information we have regarding this one. And this is the final arrangement. Guitar, violin, piano, and cello. Next one, drums, trumpet, and flute. And the persons in the same order are P, N, L, J, O, K, M. Done with this? Then question number 66 in this one. And who among the following? likes drums. Yes, tell me who among the following likes drums here? O likes drums, so that is choice 3. And question number 67, as per the given arrangement, guitar is related to Feb. That means guitar is immediately before Feb and drums is related to September, drums is immediately below September. And which of the following is set and pattern? Following a set and pattern, which of the following is trumpet related to? Trumpet is immediately before the month of October. Hence, October, that is given choice 4. 67, it is choice 4. Then 68. Now, in 68, in which are the following? In which are the following pairs? Both the persons have a surgery in months which have less than 31 days. Less than 31 days, P and K. Now, P is serving in the month of Jan, which that is ruled out. O and P, O August, that is also ruled out. N and J, N Feb, and J in the month of June. Now, these two. Well, less than 31 days, that is choice 3. 68, it is choice 3. Then question number 69. Now in the 69, which of the following combinations is correct? N violin, definitely true, that is choice 1. 69, it is choice 1. Then question number 70. And who among the following has a surgery? Immediately before the one who has a surgery in September. Who among the following has a surgery? Immediately before the one who has a surgery in September. Immediately before the one who has a surgery in September, August, isn't it? That is drums and O, that is choice 2. Question number 70, it is choice 2. Then question number 71. Now in this 71, how many people have a surgery between the one who has a surgery in March and N? Now between March and N, tell me how many persons are there in between these two? March and N, N is in the month of Feb, and March and Feb, there is no month in between these two. Hence, none, that is choice 5. Now, this is about question number 66 to 71. Done with this? Then, afterwards, question number 72 to 76. Now, in this 72 to 76, now these questions are based on what? 72 to 76 is based on a seating arrangement. Now, how many friends are there? In total, we have some 8 persons. And who are those 8? E, F, G, H. Now, H, I, J, K, O, P, Q, and R are seated in a straight line. Hence, eight persons are seated in a straight line, but not necessarily in the same order. And some of them are facing north and while some of them are facing south. Some north and some south is given. Some north and some south means then. Now, let us start from question number 72. Now, in total, we have some eight persons here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, condition number 1. As yes, what is condition number 1 here? Only two people sit to the left of O. As only two people sit to the left of O, now it's here. Now the direction of O is not clearly given. Whether this O is facing north or facing south is not given. Hence, we need to take different possibilities. Tell me how many different possibilities do we have? Two possibilities. What are those two possibilities? If O is here, only two people sit to the left of O. That means these are the two people sit to the left of O. And in order to have these two persons to the left of O, then what is the direction of O? O must face towards north. O is facing north, then two people sit to the left of O. Then, afterwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then what is the second possibility we can have? O is here. If O is here, then how many persons? Two people sit to the left of O, O must be facing towards south. Hence, either O can be towards north or O can be towards south. Then, 
Next condition, Q should sit out to the left of O. As Q is seated out to the Q should sit out to the right of O. Now in the first case, Q should sit out to the right of O, Q must be here. And in the second case, Q should sit out to the right of O, Q must be here. And Q should sit out to the right of O. Q and O face opposite directions. O is north and Q will be south. And in the second case, O is south and Q will be north. Now these two persons are facing different directions. Q and O face opposite directions. And next one, both the immediate neighbors of R faces north. Immediate neighbors of R are facing north. R's neighbors, now whoever the persons come at these two places, those two persons must be towards north only. Immediate neighbors of R faces north. And at the same time, R is neither at an ex any extreme end of the line, nor he is taken from the extreme ends of the line. That means R cannot be here, cannot be here. R cannot be here, cannot be here. And so how many possibilities do we have? Isn't it? R can be either at this place, adjacent to O or adjacent to Q. Order which tell me whether R can be here or not? No. Why? If R is here, both the immediate neighbors of R are facing north. Hence, R cannot be here as well. And the only possibility left to this R will be, this R must be towards the right hand side of O. Done with this one? R must be at this place. If R is here, immediate neighbors of R are facing north. Hence, these two persons must be facing towards not clear now then coming to the next one now r cannot be here cannot be here cannot be in these two places as well r cannot be here as well adjacent to o because the person o is facing south and immediate neighbors of r must face towards north r is here and the next immediate neighbor of r must be towards north and so how many possibilities do we have we have some two possibilities now in both the cases till now all the conditions are valid or not all the given conditions are valid and the next information. Tell me what is the next information here? J sits second to the left of K. J is seated second to the left of K. As of now, we do not have any information regarding the direction of this J. And be, but whereas in between J and K, there must be exactly one person. J sits second to the left of K. As many people sit between O and K, between K and H. As many people between O and K equals to K and H. And now see, this is how to represent the data. As many people between O and K means, if there is no person between O and K, then there should not be any person between K and H. If there is one person between O and K, there must be one person between K and H. And if there, is, if there are two persons between O and K, there must be two persons between K and H. Number of persons in between O and K must be equal to the number of persons between K and H. Now, with this information, tell me what can, what can we be able to infer? Infer means that has to be definitely concluded. As yes, what can be definitely concluded from this one? Among these three persons, O, K, and H. Now, which person is repeated twice? K is repeated twice. As K is repeated twice, this K must be in between this O and H or not? This K must be in between O and H. Now, sir, between among three of us. Now, number of persons in between V2 equals to the number of persons between H and H. And that means, who is common in between? That person is common, and that person must be in between these two. Done with this, hence K is in between these two. Now, if O is here. Now, in the first case, if K is here, number of persons in between O and K is how many? One person. Hence, K and H, H will be here. Whether there is a possibility or not. O and K, K and H. This is one other possibility. Then, now it's here. This K is seated second to the left of J. K is seated second to the left of J means J must be either in the place of O or in the place of J, which is not possible. Hence, K cannot be at this place. Are you following this one or not? If at all, if K is in between R and Q, then H must be to the right ha left hand side of Q. Then there is no place left for this J at all. Hence, that case is ruled out. Then what is the other thing left over here? And if O is here, then, then K must be here. If K is here, then H must be here. Are you following this one or not? Between O and K, there is no person. Between K and H also, there is no person. In between O and K equals to the number of persons between K and H. Then, now this K is seated second to the left of J. As K is seated, J sits second to the left of K. As J is seated second to the left of K, as K is here, now J must be here. If J is here, then is it possible to have? No. And the first case is completely ruled out. Clear now? Now we are left with only the second case. 
Now in the second case, O is already at this place. As O is already here, K cannot be at this place. Because if K is here, then H and R must be in the same place, which is not possible. Isn't it? Hence, K cannot be at this place. K cannot be here and K cannot be here as well. If K is here, in between O and K, there are three persons. Between K and H, there must be exactly three persons, which is not possible. Hence, K cannot be here. Then what is the only possibility here? K must be here. If K is here, O must be here. H must be here. Done with this? Number of persons between O and K is zero. Number of persons between K and H is also zero. We have taken this information. And J sits second to the left of K. Hence, where should this J? J must be at this place. If J is here, now this K is facing towards which direction? North. Then only J sits second to the left of K is valid. Clear now? Now we have finalized this information as well. Then the next one. And immediate neighbors of K face opposite direction. Immediate neighbors of K are O and H. These two persons are opposite directions. O is facing south, hence H must be towards north. Immediate neighbors of K are facing opposite directions. And a person sitting at the extreme ends face opposite directions. Extreme ends faces opposite directions. One of the extreme ends is H facing north. The other person is at this corner. That person must be towards south. Person sitting at the extreme ends face opposite directions. Then next one. I faces same direction as H. I and H are facing the same direction. H is facing north. Now I should also facing towards north. But where can we have I at this place? No, because if I is here, then this I and H must be towards north, which is not possible. As I cannot be at this place, hence I must be here. If I is here, then I and H are facing the same direction, I is facing towards north. If I is here, tell me who is the person left over? P, and P must be at this place. Then next one. Immediate I faces the same direction as H, and immediate neighbors of Q face opposite direction. Immediate neighbors of Q, who are those two persons? I and R. Opposite I is north, R will be towards south. Isn't it? I is towards north. Immediate neighbors of Q are face opposite directions, means I and R opposite. I is north, and so R must be south. Done with this? Now this is the final arrangement. Now what is order here? P, I, Q, R, J, O, K, H. And the direction is P is facing south, I is towards north, Q is north, R is south, J is north, O is south. Both K and H are facing towards north. Done with this? Then 72 to 76. Now in question number 72, who among the following faces south? Among the following. As of now, three persons are facing south. Among these three, and which is given here? R is south, that is choice one. Then question number 73. Now in this question number 73, who among the following represent the persons sitting at the extreme ends of the line? Extreme ends of the line P and H, that is choice two. 73 choice two. Then question number 74. Now which of the following is true based on the given arrangement? Condition number two, only three people face north. That is false because there are five persons who are facing north. J sits at one of the extreme ends of the line, that is also false. R and J face the same direction, that is also false. H faces north, definitely true, choice 5. Question number 74, it is choice 5 is the answer. Then 75, and how many people sit to the right of Q? Right hand side of Q, how many people are there? There are 5 people to the right hand side of Q. 5 people, that is more than 4, choice 2. More than 4, choice 2 is the answer, 75. Then question number 76. Who among the following sits second to the left of J? J is facing north, sits second to the left of J. Tell me who is that person? He is Q. That is choice one is the answer. And this is about question number 72 to 76. Done with this? The next one, question number 77 onwards. Now question number 77 to 81. 77 to 81, tell me what is your answer here? 77 to 81. Now, first let us discuss about this, coded inequalities. Now, in this coded inequalities, the relation between. Now, if you observe here, both the conclusions are in between M and D only. Isn't it? Now, if you could able to find out the relation between M and D, that itself is enough. Then, M and D. Now, in this one, if you observe here, this is lesser than, and this is greater than. There are two opposite symbols. 
as there are two opposite symbols, then what is your answer here? Neither one nor two. No relation can be drawn between these two. That is none of these. Done with this? Neither conclusion one nor conclusion two follows. That is choice for none of this. Now listen this one once again. Now if it is given like this. Now in the first information is it is given like this. M is lesser than D. And in the next one is given that M is lesser than or equals to D. Then what will be your choice? Because these days most of the students are asking about this. This one in particular. Chapuni put answer M is lesser than D and D lesser than or equals to M. Then what is your answer? Then what is your answer then? Then your answer is either one or two rather than neither one or two. Either of them. Why it is either here? Now in the first one, M lesser than D is given. And D lesser than or equals to M is nothing but M greater than or equals to D. M greater than or equals to D. And in the next one, M lesser than D. Though there is no relation between these two. But whereas, in general, we have only three symbols. What are those three symbols? Or else. Let us take, for example, these two persons are being compared in their height. Now I am comparing this girl with the second girl. First girl with the second girl, isn't it? Now in how many different ways can I relate this one? This girl can be taller than that girl, that is greater than. Or this girl is of the same height of that girl, that is equals to. Or this girl is shorter than this girl, hence lesser than. Hence in general, while comparing two different entities or two different letters, we will have only three possibilities. Broadly, only three possibilities. Either lesser than or equals to or greater than. And out of which, now in this one, what it has been given here, lesser than is given. And in the next one, greater than or equals. That means these two symbols were included in the first, in the second conclusion. And this is included in the first conclusion. All the three symbols were utilized here, used here. As all the three symbols were used, either this can be true or this can be true. Apart from these two, nothing can happen. Either first to the true of all, you lack the second to the true of all. Second to the first true, either first to the false. First to the true, either second to the false. Here, end of the pinch, where the chance is there? That is the rarest of the rare case, but whereas, yes, okay, as of now, that case is not given in your examination. But whereas these days, in some of the online examinations, the such type of questions were also appearing. Okay? Hence, most of the students have the doubt regarding this one. Because you have opted for neither. But whereas the actual answer is only either. Forget about this question. I am not discussing about this question at all. Okay? A question tracker can answer neither. Because only two symbols were there. One is lesser than another one is equals to. But if at all, if all the three symbols were given, two were in one and one in the other, then it is a case of either or. Done with this? For the new students, it will take some more time to digest this one. Income is kind important. Now, again, this is particularly for the old students who are working the remaining questions. The next one. Then question number 78. Now, in this question number 78, now the relation between R and T. Where is R here? T is here and R is here. Then, what is the letter which is common between these two? I is common. Hence, now we need to combine these two statements by taking I as common. Now I less than or equals to R, that means R will be greater than or equals to I. Ask R greater than or equals to I, I greater than or equals to T. That means I, R greater than or equals to T. If R is greater than or equals to T, that will be conclusion one definitely true. Done with this one? First conclusion is definitely true. Then coming to the second. Now K is here and J is here. And again, the letter which is common between these two is I is common. Now, K greater than or equals to I. K is greater than or equals to I. And J lesser than or equals to I means I greater than or equals to J. Isn't it? K greater than or equals to I. I greater than or equals to J. That means what is the final conclusion I got? K greater than or equals to J. And in the reverse, J lesser than or equals to K. And what is your answer? Both the conclusions are true. That is, choice one is the answer. Now question number 78, it is choice 1. Then 79. Now in this question number 79, 79, the relation between C and P. Now if you observe here the relation between C and P, forget about this one. Now between C and P, then C greater than or equals to P definitely true, isn't it? Then coming to the next one, O and Y. O is here and Y is here, between O and Y there is one greater than, one lesser than, two opposite symbols that is false. 
and so only conclusion one is true that is choice three 79 choice three then coming to question number 80 now in this 80 l greater than a now the relation between l and a one is greater than another one is lesser than two opposite symbols the first conclusion is false then coming to the second one p and y p is here and y is here between these two p lesser than y definitely true and so only two follows only two follows that is choice three question number 80 choice three then question number 80 first now in this 81 the relation between a and p a is here and p is here tell me what is the element which is common t is common now in the first statement the relation between a and t can be written like this a greater than t and in the next one t greater than p as t greater a greater than t t greater than p now if you compare these two a greater than p is definitely true that means p lesser than a is also true hence first conclusion definitely true then coming to the second one now in the second one s and a s and u and s is here and u is here the letter which is common is t is common now t greater than or equals to s and in the next one t lesser than or equals to u that means u greater than or equals to t u greater than or equals to t t greater than or equals to s now between u and s u greater than or equals to s is true that means s lesser than or equals to u is also true then what is your answer both the conclusions follow both one and two that is choice three done with this now this is about question numbers 77 to 81 then coming to 82 now in this question number 82 82 to 84 these three are based on blood relations now first information is b is the brother of whom b is the brother of s now this b is the brother of s can be written like this b is the brother of s b is a male the gender of s is not known as of now and d is the only daughter of s now d is the only daughter of s doesn't mean that there are no other children there could be some more children but whereas there is only one female to this s and d is the only daughter of s s is married to j s is married to j s and j are married couple and j is the father of r as j is the father of r as d is now j is the father of r that means this d and r are the children of s and j isn't it as d is the only daughter of this one hence r must be a male if r is a male s is a female because j is a male and j is married to s j is the father of r and r is married to whom r is married to l r a male is married to a female l r is married to l k is the son of l k is the son of l k must be at this place k is the son of l now this is what the information we have then question number 82 how is b related to j yes tell me how is this b related to j j's wife wife's brother wife's brother means spouse's brother brother-in-law and it is given in choice one then question number 83 and if x is the daughter of d and whatever this x x is the father daughter of d hence x is at this place then how is r related to x r related to x x mother is d mother's brother mother's brother means uncle uncle that is given in choice five uncle choice five then question number 84 now in this 84 how is l related to s s son is r son's wife son's wife is daughter-in-law choice three question number 84 it is choice three done with this and the next one is question numbers 85 to 89 now in this 85 to 89 seven boxes a b c d e f and g are kept one above the other but not necessarily in the same order each box is of a different color now seven boxes were there and these box were stacked one above the other now in general earlier this was given at least two to three times in your examination of the same difficulty level okay now in the examination the word stacked will be given now seven boxes are stacked one above the other that will be given and but not necessarily in the same order each box is of a different color seven different colors and only two boxes are kept between d and e now sir hence in total seven boxes these seven boxes are kept one above the other and at the same time 
Now these seven boxes are painted with the seven different colors. Now we need to identify which box is placed at which place and what is the color of that box. Then condition number one. Now if you observe here, now in none of the in information, definite information is given. Definite information means second from the bottom or third from the top, isn't it? Such a type of information is not given. Hence earlier we have discussed about whenever such definite information is not given, then how to solve this one. Chapman in the Mundaman discusses. Definitely is the man after fixation from there onwards will fix the remaining according to that one. If the definite information is not given, then how to approach for these type of questions? Allah just know. Then we have to write down the cases separately, separately in the sense, not in the regular arrangement. Now we have to take the conditions one after the other. And finally, we have to try to fix the all the conditions at a time finally. Isn't it? Then condition number one. Only two boxes are kept in between D and E. Yes, so how many boxes are in between D and E? There must be only two boxes between D and E. Now, let us write down the possibilities to this one. Only two boxes are between D and E. If D is here, if D is here, only two boxes, one, two, E can be here. Only two boxes between D and E. That is one of the possibility. Again, between D and E, which is above what is not clearly given. Whether D is above E, or E is above D that is not given. And the second case, if D is here, only two boxes are in between D and E, whether E can be above D or D can be above E. Hence, we have two possibilities. And the orange box is kept immediately above E. Orange is immediately above E, hence, in this case, orange is here. Now, in this case, orange will be at this place. Orange is immediately above. Orange is immediately above E. We have taken the second information as well. Orange is immediately above E. Two, only two boxes are kept in between D and E. And the orange box is kept immediately above E. Only one box is kept between orange and the green box. Between orange and the green box, tell me how many? There is exactly one. One or two. Only one box is kept between orange and orange and the green box. Between orange and the green box, there must be exactly one. As orange is here, orange and the green box, there must be exactly one. Hence, green box can be here. That is one possibility. Or green box can be above this one. One more possibility in the first case itself. That means D is here. And one, and this is orange. If orange is here, then E is here. If E is here, then there must be exactly one box between orange and the green box. Hence, D can be green box. Are you following or not? D can be green. Hence, in the first case itself, we have got two different possibilities. And again. And in the second case, between orange and green, there must be exactly one. Hence, this green box can be here. That is one possibility. And the next possibility, orange is here. If orange is here, then it is E. Next one followed by two more. And this is D. And before this one, there must be green box. And this is green. Done with this? Now, in each of these cases, we have two cases separately. Are you following this one or not? Then afterwards. And the green box, D is neither a green box nor a silver box. D neither a green box means this case is completely ruled out. D is neither a green box nor a silver box. Hence, D cannot be green. Now, we are left with only the in the first case, we have only one possibility. Now, D cannot be green, cannot be silver, isn't it? D cannot be silver. And the pink box is kept immediately above the green box. Pink is immediately above the green box. Now, in this one, this E must be pink. Are you following this one or not? E must be pink. Now, in the second case, pink is immediately above green box. Hence, here, E must be pink. Now, in this case, Pink must be before this one. Is it possible to have pink before this one? As tell me this case is possible or not? No. Why it is not possible? Now let us check out the number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, green and 8, pink. Hence, but where we should have only 8, 7. But as here we are getting 8, and this case is also completely ruled out. Now we are left with only two cases. Done with this? Though, meanwhile, we got two more possibilities. Those two possibilities we can able to, okay, make it as false. And D is neither a green nor a silver box. 
and the pink box is kept immediately above the green box. Pink is immediately above the green box. Next one. And only two boxes are kept between pink and the silver box. Between pink and the silver box, there must be exactly two. As pink and the silver box, there must be exactly two. In the first case, now one, two. In the first case, one, two. And this D must be silver box. But as in this one, D is not silver, that is clearly given. Hence, this silver box cannot be above this pink box. Hence, it must be below this one. Hence, so how many boxes should be there? There are two boxes. Hence, this must be silver in the first case. Done with this? Now, in the first case, count the total number of boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, in total, we have 7. That means there won't be any box before this D or cannot be any box after this silver box. D is at the top and silver is at the bottom. Then coming to the second one, only two boxes are between pink and silver. As pink is here, one, two, silver. If you write down silver here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven. Or one, two, silver. As anyhow, D cannot be silver. Here also we are left with only one possibility. Done with this one? Now first case and the second case. In the second case, silver is above. Silver is at the first place. D is at the last place. In the first case, D is at the first place and silver is at the last place. And only three boxes are kept between B and the silver box. Now between B and the silver box, there must be exactly three. As there must be exactly three, one, two, and three. Now in the first case, one, two, and three. Now this B must be orange box. Are you following this one or not? Now this B must be orange box because there must be exactly three in between silver and this one. And in the second case, between Silver and B, there must be exactly three. Hence, one, two, and three. And this B must be green box. Done with this? Now, as of now also, we are having both the possibilities. Both the possibilities are intact. Then next one, C is kept immediately above G. Now, C is kept immediately above G. This C and G must be together. As C is kept immediately above G, and G is neither a silver box nor an orange box. G cannot be silver, cannot be orange. Hence, G cannot be silver, cannot be orange. Now we should have C and G on the two consecutive places. C and G on the two consecutive places. C and G cannot be here, cannot be here, cannot be here. And C and G must be what? C is green. And G must be in between green and silver. That is the only possible because G cannot be silver. And G cannot be orange. G is neither silver nor orange. Then G is neither silver or nor orange. Now in the second case, then where can we write these two? Now, C and G. Can you write C and G like this? If you write C and G is here, G is orange which is not possible. Hence, we cannot replace C and G at the first, second and the third places. Next one, third place C is not possible because fourth place G must be here, but where is fourth place E is already there. And fifth place is also not possible. And sixth place is also not. If C is here, and in the sixth place, G will be here. Then what is the answer here? Now the second case is completely ruled out. Finally, we are left with only one case. Are you following this one or not? Yes. Now C cannot then, and C cannot be what? And what is G is neither a silver box nor an orange box. As G is neither silver nor orange. Then what is the possible? Can we have these two? This possible or not? Isn't it? This possibility we can have. And in the second case, C can be silver. Then G will be afterwards. Done with this? follow And only two boxes are between C and purple. Between C and purple, we must have exactly two. Exactly two between C and purple, one, two, hence in the first case. Now this purple box must be in between D and B. This is purple. Because there must be only two in between C and purple. Then in the next case, between C and purple, we must be, we must have exactly two. As C is here, one, two, this purple and pink must be in the same place. Is it possible? Not possible, and the second case is completely ruled out. Now we are left with only one case. Earlier we have started with the two cases, and again we got some two more cases, and finally we are left with only one case. And only two boxes are kept between C and the purple. A is not a purple box. If A is not a purple box, then whatever this A, A must be silver box. And A is silver, that is the only place left out. D, B, E, C, G, A were done. This is E. E is also done. Now we are left with what? Now we are left with F. This F must be purple colored box. And more than two boxes are kept between A and blue box. 
between A and blue box more than 2 means it can be 3, 4, 5 and so on. Hence, that means blue cannot be G because if G is blue, then between A and blue there is no box in between that is not possible because we should have more than 2. Hence, where should this blue? Blue must be this D. And what is the color left over here? Red is the color left over and this G is red color. Done with this? Now here, you have to observe the procedure, how we have approached to this one rather than try to fix this one in a tabular form. And if you try to fix this one in a tabular form, as there is no definite information given, it is not at all possible to work out at all. We can have n number of possibilities in that case. And again, the Mundukura discusses whenever the information is not given, then we have to take them separately, then we need to arrange this one finally. Done with this? Yes, what is the final arrangement here? Now the final arrangement to this one will be, yes, tell me what is the order we have. D, I am rewriting the entire information once again. Now the first top box is D, F, B, E, D, F, B, E. C, G, A, C, G and A are the seven boxes and this color is blue and the next one, next one this is purple, F is purple and, and this is orange, F is purple, B is orange and A is pink and after this pink and next one is green and this is red and finally it is silver. As what is ordered here D, F, B, E, C, G, A. And the colors of these boxes are blue, purple, orange, pink, green, red, and silver. Then question number 85. Now in this question number 85, what is the position of B in the given stack of boxes? B is third from the top or third from the top that is given choice one. Then question number 86, which of the following boxes is pink in color? E is pink in color that is choice three. Then question number 87, how many boxes are kept between D and purple? Between D and purple, there is no box in between these two. These two are in the consecutive places, none that is choice two. Then question number 88, four are the following five. Four are the following five is nothing but an odd man out and E and blue. E and blue, tell me how many are in between E and blue? There are two boxes between E and blue. D and pink, again there are two boxes between D and pink. F and silver, silver and F, how many boxes are there? One, two, three, four. There are four boxes. A and pink. A and pink, there are exactly two. And B and red, there are also exactly two. Then what is your answer here? F and silver. Now between F and silver, that is choice three. Question number 88, it is choice three. Then 89. Question number 89. And which of the following boxes is kept immediately above F? Immediately above F, D, blue color. D, blue color, that is choice two. Now this is about question numbers 85 to 89. Done with this? Then 90 to 92. Let's first write down this arrangement. Then let us discuss about this question numbers 90 to 92. Question numbers 90 to 92. Now in this question number 90, each of the six sections, how many sections are there? Six. B, C, D, E, F, and G of the same class as different number of students. A different number of students. Now six persons are there. Now these six of the same class as different number of students, six sections were there. Now Different number of students, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. It comes under comparison. How many questions are given below this one? There are three questions. Then, only D has less number of students than F. Only D has less number of students than F. That means there is no other class which is having lesser than this F. Isn't it only 
D has less number of students than F, F is here, D must be here. Only D is less than F, only D has less number of students than F, hence D at this place, F will be here. Done with this? Only D has less number of students than F. Next one, C has more number of students than E and B. Now the C has more number of students than E and B. And C does not have the highest number of students. And C does not have the highest number of students. C has more number of students. Only D has and C has more number of students than E and B. And C does not have the highest number. And C does not have the highest number. C cannot be here. As C cannot be here, where should this C? C must be at the second place. And in the third and the fourth, B and E in any order. Isn't it? As B and E are here, then what is left over here? G must be at the first place. And B has less number of students than both G and E. And G and B has less number of students than both G and E. Now, sir, B is less than E. As B is less than E, B is here. And here it must be E. Now, this is the order. What is the order here? G, C, E, B, F, D is the order in which this number of students in each of the sections. Then G has 45 students. As tell me what is the total number of students in G? G has 45 students. And the section which has third lowest number of students has 31. Now third lowest number of teachers has 31. Then question number 19. How many students does section D possibly have? And D can possibly have less than 31. Less than 31 it could be now only one number that is 25. 25 that is choice 4. Then question number 91. Now in this question number 91, which of the following is true regarding the number of students in section E? Now regarding E, E has more number of students than G. True or false? It is false. The difference between the number of students in E and G is less than 14. E and G is less than 14. Tell me whether that can be true or not. E and G is less than 14. Now is it true or false? Is it definitely true? No. Why? Because the number of E is not given. If there is 43 in between, there is a possibility then C will be 44, isn't it? Then 43, 44, 45, the difference between E and G is lesser than 14, definitely true or not? Lesser than 14 is true. Then, or if you take, now what could be the minimum possibility we can have? If, as it is 31, the next one must be 32. This is the least possibility we can have for E. Then between B, E, G and E. Yes, tell me what is the difference here? It is 13. Hence, it cannot be E and G is lesser than 14. Is always true or not? It is always true. In the, it is always true. Now, B value anta chapan 31 gada. B value 31. E value anto manaki E value anto nuch manaki. E value 32 nunchi 43 var kundach. 32 nunchi anto var kundachu 43 var. In the 44 in the Kundu Gordo, C Odum, GMO 45. On the Kintamundu, maximum possibility. You put a minimum possibility. You cut 32 on the Kundi. You put 45 minus 32 and the difference 13. Maximum difference 13. 13 can equal a chance on the layer. You get 33 in the Kundi 12. Inca 33, 4, I think that's a good thing. Difference, isn't it? Hence, it can never be. And the difference between the number of students E and G is lesser than 14 is always true. It cannot be equal to 2 also. It must be lesser than 14. That is always true choice. Two. Done with this? Then question number 92. Now in this 92, what is the choice given to this 91? 91 even change upon 5. There are two different answers to this one. 2 as well as 5, both these two are correct. Amma? Ekadamon less than 14, 91. Less than for the difference between the number of students in E and G is lesser than 14 and is definitely true of no curve. Lesser than 14 and 14 can not talk for 14 and 14 can equal in Japan. 1 and 2 less than 14 less than 14. C44 this kundi, ekkada 44 this kuno. E44, same under the gather. We'll have different number of people. Okay, we'll have different number of people. And each have, ekkada each other. 
and of same class has different number of students. Different number of students means five. All the six sessions should have six different number of students. Is this false? Is this one not done? One and then which one C value and the one not another C value one not this kind of sir children. C value one not done kind of. C value equal to one only greater than thirty one not done. Thirty one can equal to one. In this kind of E B already thirty one not done. On a guess. B thirty one leda. Then the section which has the third lowest number of students has thirty one students or no? Third lowest number of students and today, इधर क्या था? इधर thirty one students हैं ना? Okay, highest चंदो चंद मान की G forty five अधिक और इच्छा रखेगा तो ये रेंडे तो definite information नहीं चढ़ेगा तो ये पूरे C and G में जो लोग मान के different चंदों ने अच्छा चप्पने मेरे now E and G E and G में जो लोग E and G में जो लोग मान के different चंदों ने अच्छा चप्पने चप्पने मेरे तो number चप्पन नहीं Thirty, thirty unda cahai, thirty one kena ikut unda la, thirty one kena takku unda la. Ini thirty one ke apa tu? Ini rendu remaining, ini rendu takku unda thirty one kan. Ni nadi gini, apa tu? Mi nadi gini dia jepun. E value antun da cuan na. Thirty one apa? Yang tuok number jepun. Thirty two jepun. Ini thirty two unte, apa tu? E ke G ke difference anta? Thirteen. इन तो मुंडमान डिस्कस जैसे नहीं आते थर्टीन होते ये थर्टीन अने दे फोर्टीन का ना तक्कुआ ये क्या तक्कुआ अजी ट्रू आउना क्या था एस फोन इनको नंबर ये जाने जापन फोर्टीन आई ना बच्चों फोर्टीन का ना इक्वल ना जब तो ये इधर फॉल्स होते थे ये कड़वी रंटुन चाहिए ना जापन नहीं ये रेंड मेरी इधर फॉल्स आवाल अंटे 14 करना तक पूंड था इधर 14 उन्नड़ा ले लाख विधर 14 करने को उन्नड़ा लेन जपाल 14 करने को उन्नड़ा लेन तो बड़ी वैल्यू आन थोड़ा ले जपन तीस कौन 40 44 44 तीस को कोड इन्दु तीस को कोड जपन ने G 45 बंदी मज़लो C उन्नड़ा ले C 44 उधरी आलो C 44 उधरी आलो ले खाने के मैक्सिमम पॉसिबिलिट मिनिमम 32 मैक्सिमम 43 इधर 43 उस ते 45 की 43 के मध्यलो डिफरेंस अंतर 2 2 अने द 14 का ना तक्को एक वा तक्को एक वा मेरी ए केस चीज को ना अपड़ कोड़ा इधर 14 का ना तक्को होता ना एक वा होता ना तक्को होता ना के वाड़ आते हैं वाड़ चेपिंदे ट्रू होता ना फॉल्स होता ना ट्रू होता ना फान के सेकंड हम्म हम्म तरह चलते रहो दें नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर 92 नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर 92 इन द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन सेक्शन बी प्लस सी नाउ इन बी प्लस सी आर गेट नाउ नाउ इन दिस वन बी प्लस सी बी प्लस सी नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन द सेक्शन बी प्लस सी इज 19 मोर देन नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन more than this, 19 more than 45 and Antunali, B plus C must be 64. If B plus C is 64, B is already 31. Hence, so this must be 33. And if this is 33, how many students are there in section C? How many are there? 33, that is choice 2. Survey then? 33. And question number 93 onwards. Now, 93 and 94, these two questions comes under which category? Directions. Now, question number 93. Rekha starts walking from which place? Rekha starts walking from point Z and walks 30 meters east. No? And walks 30 meters east. Now this Rekha has started from this point Z and walks how many meters? 30 meters. And walks 30 meters towards east. She then takes a left hand and walks for 20 meters. Left hand side and walks for 20 meters. Isn't it? Then. She takes a right turn and stops at point H after walking 25. From here, now this person has turned towards a right hand side and traveled for 25 meters. After traveling for 25 meters, reached to point H. And she takes a right turn and stops at point H after walking 25 meters. 
and point Y is 45 meters to the south of H. Y is 45 meters to the south of H and H the is 45 down Kundal. As of now, and this pointer, what is that pointer here? Y. Now, this Y is 45 meters to the south of this one, hence this is Y and 45 meters this is 20 and this must be 25, is not it? And the total distance is 45 of course. Now, the total distance between these two is so much 45 meters. Now, Y is 45 meters to the south of H and Y is 55 meters to the east of N. Y is how many meters? 55 meters. 55 meters to the east of N. Now, the distance between these two is 55. Now, G and N must be in the vertical strike line or not? Why? Because now if you observe here this is 30 and this is 25, this 30 plus 25 is nothing but 55. Hence, this G and N are, N are in a vertical strike line. And Y is 55 meters to the east of N, N, F is 10 meters to the north of N. F is 10 meters to the north of N and Takara of Japan, this F is, okay, F is 10 meters to the north of N, F is 10 meters. And if we F is 10 meters, now the total distance between H and Y is 45, out of which this is 20, up to here it is 20, is not it? Up to here it is 20 and this will be 25. And that means between G and N the total distance is how much 25, out of which F and N is 10, this must be 15. Clear now? Then coming to question number 93. If Kamal is standing at point P, where is P here? Which is 15 meters to the west of point F? F means 15 meters west. Now Kamal, where this Kamal is? This Kamal is, F is here. Now Kamal is 15 meters to the west of this point P. Kamal is at point P, which is 15 meters to the west of point F. In which direction will you have to walk in order to reach point Y? Now P to Y. Now in order to reach to point Y, tell me what is the distance, what is the direction this person has to move. Now this is south and this is east and south and east that is southeast. Southeast choice for his dance. Done with this 93. Then question number 94. Now in this 94, how far and in which direction is point F with respect to point G? F with respect to point G, F is here and G is here. Now the distance between these two is 15 meters towards which direction? South. Now F is 15 meters to the south of G, 15 meters south. Choice please, choice 5. Question number 94, it is choice 5 is done. Done with this? And this is about question numbers 93 and 94. Then coming to 95 to 100. Now 95 to 100, this is again based on one more puzzle in this one, isn't it? Then in this puzzle, tell me what is information given here? Seven people. Who are those seven people? P, Q, R, S, T, and U. Now seven people, P, Q, R, S, T, U, and V, like seven different planets, namely Mercury, Earth, Saturn, Pluto, Venus, Jupiter, and Neptune, each of them works in either of the three institutes, NASA, ISRO, and, J and JAXA, and three, and with at least two of them in each institute. At least two in each institute, that means what is the possibility? Seven persons, at least two, two, two and three in any order. If there are three persons working in NASA, and two and two will be in ISRO and JAXA. And if three are from ISRO, the remaining two will be two and two. If three are from JAXA, NASA and ISRO must be two and two. Now first we need to, if at all, if it is possible, first we need to finalize and who are the persons? Okay, three persons in which institute? Then, now again, now how to draw the diagram to this one? Earlier we have discussed about this one. It comes on which one? Distribution, different parameter or common parameter? Common parameter. Why it is common here? More than one person, more than one person belongs to working in each institute at least two percent. That means it comes under common parameter and so whenever it comes under common parameter then we need to divide this one accordingly. Isn't it? And so how to divide this one accordingly? Then now sir, this is NASA and next one is ISRO, NASA, ISRO and what is the other case here? JAXA. Now this is what the information we have, NASA, ISRO and JAXA. Then NASA, ISRO and JAXA, how many persons are there? In total we have some seven persons and at least two are working in each of this one. R works in ISRO. 
information, definite information clearly given, R is shear, R works in is slow with the one who likes Pluto. With the one who likes Pluto means R does not like Pluto. Are you following this one or not? Here he is talking about two different persons. So are those two? R is one and the one who likes Pluto is the other. There are two different persons. Then R and Pluto and T likes Neptune. Now what happened to this T? T likes Neptune, T likes Neptune and T does not work with R and so T cannot work with R, isn't it? T cannot work in H row and T does not work with R. The one who likes Venus works with only, no here in the first, in the H one. R works in H row with the one who likes Pluto or not, isn't it? R into Pluto we have written this one. Then tell me how many people are working in H row? Exactly two? Two or more than two, isn't it? Maybe two or more than two. Can see here there are two different possibilities. But whereas the next one, the one who likes Venus, the one who likes Venus works with only, only with P. That means now in wherever there is P, and P and Venus are the only two persons are in that institute. These two persons must be together. Hence, if P is in NASA, there must be only two people. Or if P is in ISRO, is it possible or not? Why it is not possible? P Pluto on the then Venus will be R. I have chance on that either. As of now, I am not okay discussing about the remaining statements. As of now, P can be NASA and P can be ISRO or P can be here Jaksa as well. If P is in Jaksa and Venus, there must be only two people. And neither P nor S likes Pluto. Neither P nor S likes Pluto as P does not like Pluto. Hence, P and Venus in this case is completely ruled out. Sarbinda? Now P and Venus cannot be in ISRO, hence P and Venus can be in, the, in NASA or can be in JAXA. Hence how many possibilities? Two possibilities. As there are two possibilities, let us write down the two possibilities. P is here. If P is here, then Venus will be here. As Venus is here in this one, there must be only two people. There is no other person in this. And what is the second possibility we can have? Now the second possibility, this P and Venus can be in NASA and P and Venus can be in NASA. Hence, let us write down the next possibility here. Now this is NASA, ISRO and JAXA, isn't it? Now in this one, what is the first information given here? Now the first information R and the one who likes Pluto is at this place. And in the next case, what is the next case here? And P and the one who likes Venus. P and Venus is here. As P and Venus, now in this P and Venus, there must be only two people. P and Venus, there must be only two people. Here also, there must be only two people. Done with this? P and Venus. Then, now T cannot be ISRO. That's what we have. T cannot be ISRO. And neither P nor S likes Pluto. Neither P nor S likes Pluto. Then what is the other information here? S does not work with the one who likes Neptune. Now S and the one who works with Neptune are in two different places. S and Neptune, two different. S and the one, S, S and the one, Neptune are in two different, are working in two different institutes. S does not work with the one who likes Neptune. The one who likes Earth works with the one who likes Saturn. Earth and Saturn must be together. As Earth and Saturn must be together, and next one, the one who likes Earth works in Saturn, R does not like Earth, and U works with the one who likes Jupiter. U works with the one who likes Jupiter, U does not work in NASA. As U does not work in NASA, then what are the different possibilities we can have? Now we should have T. Now where should this T be? Now T cannot be T who likes Neptune, and this T cannot be working in ne is row, and T can be either JAXA or NASA in the first case. Now out of which tell me whether T can be JAXA or not. Now I am talking about the first case, whether T can be here or not. No, why it is no? If T is here, T must be Neptune, isn't it? But yes, there must be only two people in the JAXA, hence T cannot be at this place. As T cannot be here, hence T Neptune must be at this place. Now coming to the second case, now 
In this one, T cannot be displaced because there must be only two people in this one. Hence, T cannot be NASA, T cannot be ISRO. Hence, T must be in JAXA. And T and the one Neptune, T and Neptune. Then, and next one, R works in ISRO with the one who likes Pluto, T likes Neptune. Neptune, T does not work with R. As T does not work with R, now T and R are completely ruled, isn't it? Are not with R. The one who likes Venus works with only P. Neither P nor S likes Pluto. Neither P nor S likes Pluto. S does not work with the one who likes Neptune. As S does not work with the one who likes Neptune. Hence, S cannot be. S cannot be. S cannot be NASA. Hence, where should this S be? Now again, one more information. U works with the one who likes Jupiter. Isn't it? U does not work in NASA. As U does not work in NASA, hence where should this U be? U works with the one who likes Jupiter. Anon. As U likes with the one who likes Jupiter, tell me what is the different possibilities we can have. The one who likes Venus works with only P. Neither P nor S likes Pluto. P cannot work with Pluto and S cannot work with Pluto. And as S cannot work with Pluto, and Q and S must be in the same. Q works with S but not in NASA. Now Q and S cannot be NASA and Q and S cannot be JAXA. Why? Because in JAXA we must have only two persons. P is already there. Hence Q and S cannot be here. Hence this Q and S must be in ISRO. Then out of which S does not like Pluto. Hence Q must be Pluto. If Q is Pluto, S must be here. Now three persons R, Q and S were done. Now again coming back to this one, now Q works with S, Q and S are together, but not, but does not work in, but does not work in where NASA. Hence Q and S, and S does not work in the Neptune, S and Neptune in different institutes. Hence Q and S cannot be in JAXA as well. Now in the second case also, now this Q is Pluto and S will be the other one. Now this is Q and this will be S. Done with this? Then, uh, S does not work with the one who likes Neptune. The one who likes Earth works with the one who likes with Saturn. And Saturn and Earth must be together. As Saturn and Earth must be together, either Saturn, P is Saturn, Saturn and Earth must be together. As Saturn and Earth must be together, in the first case, if you observe here, Saturn and Earth as there are three persons in ISRO and in the remaining two we must have only two two persons. Isn't it? Now in the first case, tell me Saturn and Earth can be NASA or not. Now Saturn and Earth are NASA then you will have three persons from NASA which is not possible. Same is the case with JAXA. And this Saturn and Earth must be R and S in any order. And out of which R does not like Earth. As R does not like Earth, hence R must be Saturn and S must be what? R is Saturn and S is Earth and S is Earth. Are you following this one or not? S is Earth. And again coming to this one and R and S. The one who likes Earth works with the one who likes Saturn. Earth and Saturn must be together. The first NASA is not possible. There must be only two. And JAXA is also not possible. We must have only two. Hence S does not like R does not like Earth. Hence, R must be certain. If R is certain, S must be Earth. Now, as of now, all the, both the possibilities are valid. And next one, R does not like Earth. U works with the one who likes Jupiter. U is working with the one who likes Jupiter. Now, tell me where can this U? U can be NASA? U cannot be NASA because here he is talking about two different persons. So, are those two persons? U and the one who likes Jupiter. Hence, this person is U. If this is U and this P is Jupiter, and again in this case also U and Jupiter. Now if U is here, isn't it? And this P must be Jupiter. Isn't it? U and Jupiter. And then tell me who is the person left over here? P, Q, R, S, T, U. And V is left over. And V is what? V is Mercury. Now in this one also V is left over. V is Mercury. Now till the last one, both the cases are valid. And the last one. And U does not work NASA. 
Now u does not work now, so now the second case got invalid. Now till the last statement both the cases are valid, hence we have to draw the possibilities only. Done with this? Rather than writing down this way, segregating this one in the parameter wise, if you have written like this, P, Q, R, S, T, U, N, V, then it will be very difficult for you to finalize this one. Then you need to count in each and every time, two from where, two from where, three from where, chala custom hotun dar. Mere alane try jaise sun dal, kontho mandi. P, Q, R, S, T, U, N, V, try jaise alane, alane jaise. Indi ki image lo, image jo jaane yaramam mere, recently joined. Tere sun na makon na chala kani pesun na kotha dar. Then, now this is about question numbers 95 to 100. Now 95 to 100, first write down this arrangement. Now which are the following combinations represent the institutes in which P works and the planet he likes. P works in Jaxa and likes Jupiter. Jaxa, Jupiter, that is choice four. Then question number 96. And four of the following is nothing but an odd man out, S and Q. Now S and Q in the same P and U works in the same institute, R and S works in the same, Q and V works in different, and V and T works in the same, except choice 4 and in the remaining choices. Both the persons are working in with the same institute. Then question number 97, who among the following likes Mercury? Yes, tell me who among the following likes Mercury? V likes Mercury, that is choice 4. Then question number 98. Which of the following combinations represent the combination of people working in Jaksha? Now, Jaksha P and the one who likes Venus. P and the one who likes Venus, that is choice one. Then, 100. Now, question number 100. Sorry, 99 is there. Now, 99, which of the following plants does you like? As you likes Venus. You likes Venus, that is choice one. Then, question number 100. Now in this 100, which of the following statements is definitely true? And condition choice two. Q works with the one who likes earth. Q likes with the one who likes earth, true or false? That is definitely true. Because Q in his row and S is also his row and S likes earth. That is choice two is the answer. Now this is about question number 66 to 100 and paper number 655. Done with this one? Yes, any doubts in this? 35 questions, 66 to 100. Anything to be discussed once again? Any doubts on 66 to 100? Question number 66 to 100. Now, let us have a glance to the entire section once again. Okay, because today we got some time. No. No. Then, more than two people, T works in Jaksa. T works in Jaksa, that is false. More than two people work in Jaksa, that is also false. And both R and U work in the same institute. R and U works in the, are they false? Any false? Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's this is the one of the three institutes. That is equal to one of the three institutes. Clarity is equal to one of the three institutes. Now, now in this paper number 655, question number 66 to 100. Now, once the paper has been given to you, then how to score in this one? Allow score JLE within that stipulated time. As what is the time allotted to this one? And the time Japan 20 minutes. Now in 20 minutes, now you have to maximize your score. Then how to maximize the score in this paper? Chapman first then to start chess kunte man mark like was thai. Isn't it? Hence, if you have a glance to this one, the first is for what 77 to 81. Now that is coded inequalities. Now in this coded inequalities, and so many questions are five questions you can easily solve within just two to three minutes without using your pen and paper. Hence, first we need to focus on such type of areas. Now, coded inequalities first, then after this 77 to 81, in next one, blood relations. Blood relations, how many questions are there? There are three questions, hence blood relations 82 to 84, blood relations three questions. Next one, 90 to 92. 90 to 92 comes on which category? Comparisons. Now, comparisons, three marks. 
5 plus 3 plus 8. Tell me how much time will you take for these two? E mood complete chat and can the time button Japanese? Now coded in equal 20 minutes. Matam paper 20 minutes. Isn't it? Now in this one, first coded in equal is 5 at the most will take only 2 minutes and 2 plus 2 plus 2 S course. And it's in total 6 minutes. The total time that has to be allotted for these three must be 6. After going to your home, by taking this paper into your hand, start working out the same pattern, check out how much time you have taken. Already me Rokasar Jaisar, in Kokasari Puribinar, Ippur Jayan. Ippur Jayan, time take in the other six minutes, you can find it as well. Then after this one, then what should the next priority after this? Then directions. How many questions are given in these directions? Directions, there are two questions. Hence, without entering into this one, we could easily solve around some, how many? 13 or 11? 13 marks. 13 marks, so how much time it will take? Around some 8 to 9. Directions to go, 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 2 marks, 2 minutes, this goes to 3 minutes. Hence, 6 plus 3 are, isn't it? Hence, total 9 minutes has to be allotted for these 13 marks. I am not sure. Integral time is 13 minutes, these 4 should be fine. Then, once you have fine this one, then we need to start working on the puzzles. You can see puzzles, isn't it? And all the remaining uh, comes under the puzzles only. And among these puzzles, how many puzzles are there? Now 13, 4 puzzles were there. 4, how many questions were given in this one? If 13 were gone, and the remaining will be 22 were given on puzzles. And they go. Now in these puzzles, then tell me what is your first priority. First stage, yes, sir. 60, 6 to 71, or 72 to 76. 72 to 76. Now, next priority is for 72 76 row arrangement. 72 to 76 row arrangement. Now, for this one, at the most it will take 4 minutes, not more than 4 minutes. Now, the time allotted for this one should be only 4 minutes. This one. Timing in the grass now, you know, we didn't equal other time, but you time to try and chain. And 4 minutes. After this one, then you have this dilemma. Whether to go for 66 to 71 or 85 to 89, 80 is called NSC. Now, in this one, if you go through this method of measurement, measurement and then Japan, the screen. If you choose 65 to 71, is a, isn't it? Lengthwise, it is more. But whereas, if you take 85 to 89, lengthwise, it will be very less. Can you opt for this one, 85 to 89? It will be very difficult. Why? Because definite information is not given, isn't it? Hence, whenever these months and days, all such floors were given, you have to take that into consideration. Hence, the next priority is for what? 66 to 71. Now, for this 66 to 71, tell me how much time you require? Five minutes. This one, another time and another time? Five minutes. Because why it was so? Because you have already cleared the cutoff. Cutoff, I pay me. And the time is 9 minutes, either 4 minutes, 13 minutes from one kind of marks. Now 13 plus, 13 plus 72 to 76, 5. 18 marks were done. 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 18 Ascending order juice kono, difficulty level juice kono. Next one, 66 to 71. If you could able to spend something like five minutes, it will be easy for you or not? Yes, definitely. Hence, what is this one? This comes under and 66 to 71 month. Month say no? Months wise. Now tell me what is the total marks you have covered as of now? 18. 18 plus 66 to 71. How many questions are there? Six questions. And 18 plus 6, 24. You can easily come out of the session. And 24 months. And so how much time allotted? 4 plus 5, 9. 9 plus 9, 18 minutes. I think 2 minutes math may be good. Perfect. That is the time take. Inka could this speed in all inko puzzle that is set up us. Clear? Inko puzzle is called and 8 is kunda rendered low. Eden a guest mate. Within that time, these two will be very, very difficult. Here end it low first priority is sir. 95 to 100. 95 to 100 could the grasping a kunda toraga catch it. Lay down kunda rendu possibilities draw chase call when compared with this 85 to 89 and 99 to 100 is always easier. 90, 95 to 100. Okay, 95 to 100. And next one will be last priority will be 85 to 89. 
85 to 89. Done with this?